Hey guys, um, just before I get this video started, um, I'd like to re shout out and some people and shout out some people I haven't shouted out before. Um, if you go to my cool people section, quote unquote, um, it has some um, a lot of suggestions for other people who do a lot of cool area stuff. And other stuff too. Um, shout out to Doodles Unicorn. She is my sister. She is also a YouTuber, and she makes a lot of cool videos. I mean, she has some um, okay editing skills. I mean, better than mine. And she can make some of her funny videos are pretty funny. And also, if you're into speed paints and stuff, she's got that. So. Yeah, and then there's Marilyn, um, he's just a great Pokemon player and Terraria player, so, yeah. And then there's Trippy Gaming and Happy Days, they do guides and reviews and class playthroughs and whatnot, um, around Terraria, and... They do some other games, too, occasionally. Um, so yeah. Um, but... Anyways, enough of that. We're back in, and we are ready for, um... Plantera. And that's an island I've explored, correct? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Off camera, I'll get the nep stuff for Neptune's shell and then craft it next episode. Um, and then I can also, I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. And then I can p combine it with this new charm and get the celestial shell, which will be highly beneficial for me. At least until I get the Celestial Stone. Which will be a bit, from now, probably a ton of grinding. Um... Thing is, do I really need that? Over the Charm of Myths. Um, I guess I can keep it for quite a bit. I mean, I'm definitely going to switch out for, um, the Master Ninja gear when I get it. Um, because, yeah, I'm keeping, and this is mobile. It doesn't have expert mode. If it, if I was on it, I would have this stuff for another inventory. For another accessory slot, and I would put that there, and that would have been great. That's why it, it's like there's so many reasons, um, why the computer version, um, of recent dates is so good. Um, there's so many benefits to it, and I went in the wrong direction. Um, also, I built this little setup, if you didn't realize, um, just for NPCs, because, like, I don't want them all right next to each other, and it's very cruddy. I mean, I'll definitely do a lot of redecorating. Um, a bit after Plantera, probably after Duke Fishon. In fact, I'm probably only gonna do that around the time that I'm ready for the frost moon and now i'm gonna have a lot of episodes on the frost moon and pumpkin moon and chest building and item collecting after i'm done with this i will do class playthroughs it's a bit and when the computer comes out 
computer, um, no, not computer, but 1.3 comes out on mobile, I will, um, do a complete expert mode playthrough. Um, and we'll also do a boss rush on a new world with this character. If I don't have any better at that time. Because it comes out on mobile, I believe, in like summer next year. So if I can get YouTube to work out for me for a while more... I'm basically good, because I've almost been on YouTube for two years. So now think about that. I've hardly made videos. Um, a lot of them I've deleted. I did make a lot of videos, but they were private. Um, I was going to upload them, but they were too cruddy. Um, but for the people who have been, ar who have been around since... Um, Square one, I just want to say thank you so much because you're you you guys have been a big help, even though it was two years and only 13 subs. I am very grateful because without you, I really don't really have a purpose to make YouTube videos. Like, it's the thing I like doing. I mean, I like I like it's just saying what I'm doing in games to people. It's not just about the attention. I do like attention, though. I'm not gonna lie. For, um... So you can see a lot of this. So a lot of people can see what I like. And what I, you know... Like, I just... I don't know. It's just been a thing for me I've liked. Is talking to people about games and whatnot. So this is a great way for me to do it. That's why I've been on YouTube for so long and haven't cared a bit about what people think. I've many times tried to quit YouTube, but I've always come back very shortly because it's just something I like way too much. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's not the greatest thing in the world, either. Um... Then I can do that, and... Switch. Out, and... Yeah. Kind of hope for the best, I guess. Um, I need to kill off a lot of these mobs. Just like, now. Um, there we go. That's great. Um... Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Um, oh gosh. So much room to move around. It's, it's so good. So beneficial. Um, but yeah, this works out great. And great. Um, I have double the challenge. Not really double, but it's still gonna be annoying. Um... This works out a lot better for me. I don't know why, I don't know how, it just does. So 
And wow, I'm doing a lot more dodging than I really expected I would do. And there we go. I would actually prefer um, going again. Because that went ridiculously well. Um, bee gun is okay for the collection. I don't really need that. That's unpleasant. That's a good buff um, to it. Um, so yeah. Uh, other than that, that's basically all there is to the fight. Um, it's pretty simple. It only took about, like, a couple minutes, like, three or so. Probably around, yeah, more or less four, three, two, yeah, two. Screams are echoing from the dungeon, too, which means I'm going to have to grind there for a bit. Um, these holy arrows, though, they aren't doing the best. Like, I don't really know what's making these so ridiculously overpowered. I mean, it's just the debuff. Like, think about how powerful this is for me right now. Like, I barely have anything amazing for to use other than, like, just this and this, and I basically won. And those arrows are great, though. They, they work great. Now I see why people love ranged so much. It's just hard in the beginning for me. Oftentimes, because in 113 they have like an infinite ammo setup stuff, and it's great. Um, but <laughs> since I'm in 1.2.4 right now, I'm not gonna do a range class because it's so annoying to get all the ammo until much later. And only then is it that good, um. But I don't get why people say range is hard against um, Duke Vishron, too. Because, really, I see a lot of people just go in with holy arrows or something and just destroy people. Um, but when a lot of people, like, I don't know why people underestimate these Frostburn arrows. Because I use them and they work great. They're just great. Not necessarily against crowd control. Holy arrows are more of that sort of thing. Um. But they're good for single target enemies. And large, close together crowds. Like, it's definitely great against the mechanical bosses, Plantera, and Gollum. Basically, past that, they're useless. Um, but they're good for the majority of the game, which is nice. Well, they aren't good against Duke Fishron, though, but they can be... For, I'm pretty sure they're okay enough to defeat um, Moon Lord without any heals. If you can do enough dodging, you can do that easily. Like, it's not that bad. Though, um, but still. See, the thing I... I would just want to say, guys, for some random reason, I think Duke Christian, in my opinion, it's act Duke Christian is actually harder than the Moon Lord. Now, the Moon Lord does have way more damage, but he's way easier to avoid with the right stuff. 
Basically, your only chance against Duke Fishron is Master Ninja Gear. And that takes a bit of time to get. Um. So, yeah. Um, if I can find another... Um, plant, that would be great. Because I found ten, and this took, like, hours, though, to... Form for chlorophyte, by the way. Um, that's just the wide open spot right there. Where am I? Oh, that's just over to the left and down some. So that's an easy bulb to get. Um, I believe it's down here, at least. I believe there was one. I'm highly mistaken, clearly. Oh no, it's way down. Wrong place, wrong place. False alarm. It wasn't actually wrong, I don't think. So, just down here, it should be where it is. Where is it now? I'm literally there. No, I passed it. Um, somehow, I passed it. So, yeah, that looks like a plantera bulb. Um, the only thing is, how annoying will... No, that's a life crystal. Frick. Um, where else is a plantera bulb, though? Because they're really hard to spot. Bot on the map. Um. Is there seriously no plantero bulbs that I see? I mean, I know there's some down near the underworld, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to be that guy who risks everything. Um, is it seriously just not going to spawn? Is there not going to be one that shows up? Because I've seen many upon many bulbs. Just exploring for chlorophytes. So I don't see why it's taking so long to just simply find one more. Um. I do remember one along a path like this, and usually those are the ones you want to use to your advantage. And just build a giant arena. Around. Because usually that works very efficiently. And usually that's the most likely sp spot, that's most likely the spot where they 
will spawn is in an area like that. Um, I'm just going to keep on going right and hope for the best that I can get something useful out of this jungle exploration for another bulb. Let's see, down here. Oh, you know what would be useful if I actually turn this guy on? That helps. Um. Hi, yo, what up? Yo, what up? I don't care. I'm playing to Rovia. Okay, so sorry for Doodles coming in and being a freaking weeb, as she says. Um, <laughs> but she does that a lot, so you're just going to have to get used to it. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who have been interrupted. And usually they edit it out, but I, there's really no good editor systems on Android. I never knew when the traveling merchant was here. I don't remember seeing that. Oh, that was during the fight, wasn't it? I mean, I sort of remember. You know, there's always just blowing up the jungle temple door. And that always works out great, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um... It really does, though. I'm not joking. That works out amazingly. Um. Wow. Um. I have a lot of stingers. Hmm. Because usually those are hard as crud to find, but not so much today, I guess. Um, how many jungle grass? Oh, yeah, I have a ton. I can get as many moon glows as I need and want, and yeah, it's going to be great. Now, moolows and day blooms and whatnot are often used a lot in potions. And now, if you don't know, if you don't truly keep up with your stuff, you're gonna have a pain. Um, crafting potions. I will tell you that. Just heads up. Um, yeah, I have way too many cobwebs, but I'm fine. I'm going to still collect a ton. Um, because I don't know really why it's just easy to work with to just collect a ton Wait, 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 what am I even saying, gun? What was I talking about? Whatever.
Like, my mind does that a lot. Um, I need to get a lot. A lot. A lot more, um, ice torches for frost burn arrows, because they're really good. And I would be surprised that I get some more. Um, hold on, where the crud did I put this? Oh my gosh, I, it's freaking right there. Like, um, frick, hold on. Break my life. Um, I need more of these. Where'd all my vertebrae go? Please tell me if I passed over it, because that would make me really mad. It's, but I would understand. <laughs> like... Um... Doesn't look like I have any. You know, I'm going to keep that there for safekeeping. And then I also need to fight the twins. Which is going to be great. I mean, totally. It's literally almost night. That's perfect. Um, It actually is. For once, something is set in motion to do what I want. <laughs> oh, I need six for this. Um, frick. Um, yeah. Only have enough, about enough time. 
for this and then that's gonna wrap up the video for me after that um yeah this is gonna work great Oh, the, you know what's going to work great? This. Like, I don't even need to try at this point. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, geez, that works great. <sighs> Holy cow. That was too easy. Um. This harp is really good. For crowd control, I will say that, and it was good against the Shrey, but it didn't work as well as I imagined against the Twins. Then again, actually really not, because, like, they're moving a lot, so, yeah. It's only against either large enemies, or just very slow enemies. That you don't have to move a lot from. Um, that's gonna get me a ton. Yeah, but as always, this is easy. But yeah, this is Blood Moon duty stuff. So, yeah. I still don't have enough defense to explore the hollow punch yet. Well, I do have enough defense, it's just not enough damage to really work with the hollow a lot. Um, so I need things, I want the Platin's Hammer. Um, the Magnet Spear. Um, and a whole lot of other stuff, because that's going to be great. Um, do you even have any, you don't even have any idea, but you have how good this is. So I'm against enemies who just like, like it's great against standard enemies. Especially in areas where it has something to bounce off of. It's not necessarily good in this situation, though. Like, you can shoot it, and it still does pretty good damage because it pierces. But it's not really as effective as it were to bounce off a wall multiple times and get in, like, all the damage. I did have enough. Um, that's still good, because that means I have extra. Um, where are my hollow bars? They're right here. There, now I have 37. That's plenty full for now. Um...
I don't really need more than three shackles. Um, I do. I believe need three nasals and one extra just to give it to a friend in case. But I can just like I was getting tons of nasals in the crimson. A lot of things, as far as I'm concerned, only on mobile. As far as I know, as far as I know, on mobile. Mobile is the only place I've checked, but her planes drop nasars too. Is it? It's either that or crim slimes. So I can't really remember, tell which a lot of the time. So, and they it's they're pretty common. <laughs> like they are super duper duper common enemies. Um <laughs> the twins are actually much easier than a lot of people would say they are. Cuz really it's only the one guy who shoots um Did I seriously just... What am I doing? Um, it made the sound of, like, banging, and that's usually, like, the sound it uses for other stuff and whatnot, so I was confused. That's nice. Well, that might be something I want. Because that can be found pretty good. For exploration. I mean, it will definitely work well, um, for bits. <laughs> I mean, definitely will help with digging, but for now, I'm really not sure I'm gonna need it. Because I can't really put it away, straight away, um, after I use it when I need it, so. It's best to just put it away, away all together for now, and possibly come back to it in the future. Just possibly. And I freaking wasted a lot of my money but it's worth it to keep a lot of the stuff you can get from these guys, because these do play part in a lot of stuff. So you can get a lot of the uh, for. So if you're trying to get a couple of the main of items, um, if you're trying to get like every. Um, like gun type item. I'm trying to get every item except for banners and trophies and masks. Because they aren't really much of items. And really they would be a very big pain to get. Because that would mean I'd have to kill around an average of 50 of every enemy in the game. And remember, I don't know ev what enemy drops and is not, so just for safety, I'm gonna kill like 50 of every mob in the game. So that's gonna be a pain, but it will benefit me somewhat. Um. How much time I got? 
12, 13, 13 a.m. That's not enough time. Not enough time, not enough time. But it's great. I mean, it's it's going to work great. Um, I'm really also waiting for rain again because I really am ready to grind some nimbuses. And also, I don't really have that good gear yet. I'm just destroying the game. It's been tense. Um, fast. Like, by now, people would have the Terra Blade and Turtle Armor. But nope, I'm just taking my time. No chill. No big deal. No hustle. Um... The, it would be great if I can get like 50 of those to spawn all at once. But you know that's not gonna happen. Um. What else can I see to spawn? Um. Because there's gotta be. There's bound to be many enemies around that can drop this vertebrae. And I'm just missing where they are completely. Um, two souls of night very close together. That's nice. Um, this does a lot of damage. This little summon thing does a lot. Which is great. It's great news. It's good fun. Um, yeah, come on. I just need three more. It's not the end of the world. I can still have the time to fight the destroyer. At least I think so. Yeah, like two minutes isn't gonna be two minutes to fight him is enough. Um, but I'm gonna t t fight him next time. Well, off camera rather. Instead. Um, next time we'll do some dungeon exploration. And by next time, I mean very close after this video. Um. I'm going to start recording at, right after this one. Um. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. Can you just die, please? And basically everyone else here. I would like it if one of you guys would drop a vertebrae or two. Jeez, these vertebrae are hard to get. You know, might as well go to, like, another place. Um, so, yeah. Let's just... Let's, let's see. The Shoyer stuff. Just... Just the Shoyer. I guess. <laughs> I guess that works. I'm not really going to have any time to fight him today if I do have time. Enough time. If I do have enough time, I'm going to be happy. Um, see, this really saves you time. 
Because if you're like midway through the night and you you want to fight another boss but don't have the crafting stuff, just build, and but you can get it on those items a lot more easily in pre-hard mode. Just create a new world and get it fast. Cause yeah, Ocran, you're gonna need to be in hard mode to get all those items. To summon. And right here we go. Um, rotting chunks are the um the um, how would I put it? It's it's the um. Come on, think. It's a variation of vertebrae. So yeah. Um, I was just wiping off my screen there. But yeah, this is gonna take a bit. Um. Um, that's great. Oh, already found one, a little place. Um, that's not that good. Um, this is the whole variation of the Crimson, by the way. The Corruption. Pretty sure it still has death weeds and whatnot, so... Yeah. The only difference is the look, the shape of it basically well the only difference is the layouts the colors and the boss summon items like, basically everything is the same in the corruption except rotten chunks. Looks different. Rotten chunks instead of vertebrates looks different. And it's the Eater of Worlds instead of the Brain of Cthulhu for that the boss that you fight in for your hunting mode. Of that sort. Now, a lot of people get this biome often, and it's 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 it's, it's pretty it's, it's okay. It's you benefit more greatly in a crimson one until a hard mode. Until like there's one reason why it's you benefit more. There's like. There's one reason why the corruption is still good to have as a spare world. As a spare world. It's still a good reason to have a spare world for the corruption. Of the corruption. Because if you get into hard mode on that. You can still get a ton of rotten chunks. Actually even faster. Than in pre-hard mode. Rather than the opposite with the crimson. Um, but you get vertebrae is like crazy in the crimson after a while um but yes people still haven't notified me about <laughs> about any tricks that either um uh, you're not gonna show up with all your oh i already have enough i guess it's time to go back um, how much time do I have? Cause just if I have enough time, I'm 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 grateful. That's for sure. Uh, 
Come. Yeah, it's literally almost morning. I would have no time. So yeah, just let it be day. Yep. Um, that was a waste. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna wait and try to get a Crimson World in pre-hard mode too. And also, I'm gonna try to look up what the thing is with the Crimson and not having floaty grosses or Iker stickers spawning rapidly, cause, like... Also, if I am correct and am smart, this does actually require, yeah. Uh, that's okay. I'm gonna reserve this in here. And I'll do a bit of crimson grinding. Um, and stuff. Off camera. Because that's not really that exciting. And I don't really need a ton of this stuff anymore. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um... I'm, I'm, I, I'm proud of what I've gone and done. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and bye!